Okay, we've got the setup going. I've got a bucket at the top that'll keep the uh, top tank full throughout the test. And uh, we have a flap valve in it. We'll pull that at the appropriate moment. And once I put the bucket under, we'll start the stopwatch. When I take the bucket out, we'll stop the stopwatch. And uh, we should have our time and our flow. We'll measure the water in the bucket with uh, some measuring cups and a gallon jug. So uh, that's what we're going to try and do for the second time. We ran it just now. We got 26 gallons per minute. I wish it were a little higher than that. Maybe I didn't clear those tubes out. We'll try it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that's a lot more water than that first time. Okay, what we did, uh, I held the bucket under there 3.35 seconds, and then we measured uh, how much water was in the bucket with a measuring cup. And uh, what did we get? 250 ounces. So we uh, ran the calculation on that, and that baby flowed 35 uh, gallons a minute, and we're going to do it again. I think that first time I had some air in the radiator. Paul? Yeah. You want a little? Okay. Go when you want. Okay. Go. Two. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that time we got 38 gallons a minute, so it's 35 and 38. That's uh, kind of a big spread. We're going to do it again and see if it, uh, we can get a better average. Okay, we're good. Uh, now, when you pull the flat power, yeah. All right, go ahead. Hold it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, we got 40 that time and 40.2, and I, I don't believe it. So uh, we're going to try it again. Well, I must be doing something wrong. Okay, ready? Let me know when you do it. Okay, ready? Pull. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, I'm tired of measuring it. We got a good number there, 38.35. So the first time we did it was 26. I think there was air in the radiator. The next time we did it was 35, then 38, then 40, then 38.35. So we've got a radiator that will flow somewhere around 38 gallons a minute. So now if we can get the, those few leaks in it, get those fixed, get the top soldered on, we got a mighty fine radiator there. Well, after looking at the videos, it's obvious I didn't have enough flow. Um, my uh, five-gallon bucket up there and the hose running in it just wouldn't give me enough flow to really measure the uh, flow in the radiator. If you'll notice the videos, the water is not bubbling up out of the, uh, the top. And that means I don't have a constant head. I've got a, re uh, a head that is slowly reducing. And that probably understates my uh, flow rates. But I guess you can conclude the bottom line is that a um, uh, wide open original Model A radiator will flow about 40 gallons a minute. And uh, that's way more than the pump can uh, give it. Um, so uh, what I need in the future is to get me a larger supply of water, wherever that might be.